Oh, the buddies. <laughs> This is the Jerry Garrity that you had uh, with you for the battle? Yeah, when it was the to... court case, we sat with Ted and, and Jerry. It was only the three was fought it and fought it hard. And we had some fight it hard. And the council put up barrels to block us coming in. And they tried to block us in every direction, but we didn't relent. We kept going. You won it on some kind of a technicality, did you? Or uh, an old... Well, we did, but there was one thing... Through the bylaws, yeah, there, was, we, there was no toilets, and no, not just supposed to have supply toilets for the customers, etc., and facilities. You were, or the council? No, the council, yeah, and, yeah. and they didn't do that. And it wasn't suitable at all for the other end of town. The did the late Peter Fennigan have something to do with it? Oh, he was very good, Peter. Uh, he was very good to us you now. See, there was an old bylaw that went back, there, right. there was a charter, there was um, a Marcus Wright. And it went down through the years, and uh, the council bought the fear charter, but they didn't buy the market charter. And uh, we used to pay tolls here to a fellow called Jimmy Ford. That's right. It just belonged to me, Gary. And uh, that's what Peter Fannigan discovered that, and that's uh, more or less how we won the case in the time. But it was her times like it is now, and you know, the, the way the treated us here was really not very nice in them days. Like, we were criminals. But, uh, Classed as criminals, yeah. yeah we but uh, in all fairness, uh, the guards were really, like, we had our licenses, our hawker's licenses at that time, that was the license they had to have, licenses. and everything was above board. But some of the some of the people mm -hmm. insinuated they were selling stolen goods, yeah. <laughs> and this, then the other one. It was proved later on that we had the genuine, that we had all our goods. Uh, to have two upstanding good Westport citizens wouldn't do things like that. Oh, no, 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 no. So, what kind of customers do you get here anyway? Well, we get everybody, everybody. from everybody. tourists everybody. to locals. We have some and great. Anyone money? Anyone <laughs> money? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, uh, how many are in the market here about now? Many stalls uh, are here. The market is small now. The market just be all around. Back round Hobans, back round the whole the town here, all, all round here in the circle. So there's only four or five now because you see they want to bring markets back now, but Westport brought in a bylaw where they regulated it to the many pitches, mm. and like now there's no room here, and like you know, it was caused, caused a lot of controversy at times with different events. And how far like, back know, does this market go now? Would you, would you think? Oh, is, there any, is there history of it? Well, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Well, you see, yeah, hundreds sure. of years for the market. But you see, Gerald Garrity and I, and my father indeed, the Lord of Mercy, and him, we we traded at the fair days. Yeah. We traded here around that the fair days. And, and how often would you have the fairs? Longer? Fairs would be once a month. Once a month. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there was St. Patrick wasn't up in Lockton at the mm. time, like they were mm -hmm. going back a good bit now for the fair days. The cattle were on the street. Well, they're all cattle, mostly all cattle. cattle. Yeah, cattle. mostly cattle. Well, if you look there in uh, O'Connor, on the walls there, that's the old photographs of Westport, and that's you can right. see the you can see the markers on the street, that's right. and there was no yeah, yeah. going back hundreds of years. So what what do you you sell flowers? Eh? Sell flowers, and yeah, well, yeah. I sold everything really, yeah. from uh, I suppose Dunning's Delft to anything in the time when I was taking an odd bottle of stout that I could sell, <laughs> I'd sold. Well, well, the point is about Joe Garrity, really he's in conversion, <laughs> because he converts anything into money. <laughs> Major, I sell drapery and footwear and household, haberdashery. How are you? How are you? Hey, my name is Jimmy Lemon. I came in Ireland 2000. So I started this job 2001. in 2000. Yeah, yes. 2001. Yes. So he's my father's working in 1984 in Ireland. He started this job. So it's I don't like the Irish weather. That's it. <laughs> we don't like it either. No, <laughs> no right, sir. We don't like it either. What kind of stuff do you sell here? Everything and anything. Everything and anything. <laughs> well, it's all clothes, is it? All clothes. All clothes and shoes and, and socks. And and all workwear and oilskins and sticks. It's a good summer for the oilskins, is it? It is, 